So hello everyone, this is your boy Jerry of Jacob Vlogs. Today, meron tayong dalawang camera dito. Isang GoPro Hero 4 Silver, isang GoPro Hero 7 Black. Ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon kung ano yung best settings for you to get the best possible image for your vlogs or your model vlogs. Kasi uh, personally speaking, I've been model vlogging for more than two years now. I think I can share a thing or two when it comes to cameras and settings na maaari nyo gamitin para sa vlogs at model vlogs nyo. Isa sa mga sikat na camera ngayon is GoPro. So, isa din to sa mga madaling gamitin when it comes to vlogging or mode of vlogging. So, itong dalawang camera na to, although they are from different generations, this one was released way back 2014, and I think this one may be around 2018. Kung settings lang din ang pag-uusapan, more or less, the same lang ang mga settings nila. Except siguro sa mga bagong features na andito sa Hero 7 or sa Hero 8 or 5 or 6. Kasi yung 5, 6, 7, and 8, meron siyang stabilization. This one, the Hero 4, uh, wala pa siyang stabilization. So, for the sake of demonstration, ang gagamitin natin is the Hero 7 Black. Right now, nakikita natin yung settings dito. Click this one. So first things first, uh, dito tayo sa resolution sa kasa frames per second. So sa taas, meron tayong resolution, tapos merong aspect ratio. So ang aspect ratio is relationship ng width sa kayong height ng videos nyo. Ang 16 by 9 na aspect ratio, nakikita natin yan sa mga cellphones, TV screens, at saka monitors ng ating mga computers. Ito yung kadalasang gamit ngayon, 16 by 9. While this one, kung i-click natin, ang 4 by 3 naman, ito yung makalumang aspect ratio na gamit dati sa mga monitors na CRT. Sa mga TV natin na hindi pa flat. So yung 4 by 3, Meron siyang available na 4K, 2.7K, 1440p, and 960. But since hindi natin gagamitin yung 4x3 na aspect ratio, we will not be discussing more of it. Proceed tayo sa 16x9 kasi dito tayo kukuha ng settings na gagamitin natin. Ang resolution naman na available sa 16x9 are the following. 4K, 2.7K, 1080, 720. So ang resolution na pinakamataas sa Hero 7 Black is 4K. The same with this one. Meron din siyang 4K actually. 4K nito, hindi pa ganun kaganda kasi nasa 15 FPS lang yung available. But anyway, yung basic na idea ng resolution is the higher the resolution is, the better the video or the image quality. Mas clear yung details niya. However, yung disadvantage naman ng malaking resolution katulad ng 4K is that it will be harder for you to edit. Kasi malaki yung files niya at yung compression niya mahirap i-decode sa computer natin. So kung lower resolution naman, medyo di kagandahan yung image niya. But for more of vlogging or vlogging, for me, 1080p is enough. Kasi 1080p is yun yung usual resolution ng ating mga TV, uh, cell phones, monitors sa computer. However, kung meron ka namang malaking memory card sa malakas na computer, you can edit in 4K or you can shoot your videos in 4K. Kasi nga, mas clearer, mas better image quality siya. But personally speaking, for me, 1080p is enough. Now, as for the frame rate, uh, the higher the number, the better it is for slow-mo. So, yung pinakamataas na kaya ng 1080p natin is 240. Now, if you opted for 4K, ang kaya naman niya na highest frame rate per second is 60. But since 1080p lang tayo, uh, we can go up to 240. But we will not do that kasi masyado na siyang mataas. And at the same time, hindi naman siya nagagamit actually. Siguro kung trip mo talaga mag-slow-mo, well, you can go up to 240. But for me, 60 is enough. Para in case na gusto mong gamamit ng slow-mo, kunwari may mga magagandang highlights sa video mo na gusto mong i-slow-mo, meron kang option to slow down your footage up to 40%. Of course, if you want to have that cinematic look, you can choose 24 FPS. However, konting reminder lang, hindi mo rin maa-achieve yung cinematic motion blur kung wala kang indie filter. Kasi yung indie filter, nililimitahan niya yung light na pumapasok sa sensor mo. Thereby enabling you na ma-achieve yung 180 degree shutter angle rule na nagsasabing yung shutter speed mo dapat times 2 ng frame rate mo. Kunwari, 24 frames per second, so yung shutter speed mo is dapat 48 or 50 kasi 24 times 2 is 48. The second option is field of view. So if you're vlogging lang, like talking headshots, naglalakad ka, gusto mong mag-vlog, you can choose linear or you can choose wide. Wag lang siguro super view kasi yung super view, masyado siyang wide. Kung gusto mo nang walang fish eye, choose linear. However, kung moto vlogging naman yung trip mo, super view would be the recommended FOV. So, super view for model vlogging, linear for the typical vlogging setup. So, another option is stabilization. Now, since hindi naman ito available sa lahat ng uh, GoPro katulad ng Hero 4, we will just skip this one. But if you want your footage to be stable, if you have the 5, 6, 7, and 8, you can turn on stabilization. However, if you have the older version like this one, the Hero 4, so wala kang option na ganun. So, the next option dito is Protune. So, ang Protune naman, 
dapat mo siyang i-turn on. Itong ProTune kasi, it enables you to manually control your camera. Pag sinasabing manual controls, nagagawa mo lang yan sa mga SLRs or higher-end cameras. But since in siya ng GoPro, we will take advantage of using it. So, we will take control of exposing our image and choosing the color profile. Now, for the shutter speed, since wala tayong ND filter, we will leave it at auto. However, kung meron ka namang ND filter, yung shutter speed mo is twice your FPS. Take for example, yung FPS FPS natin is 60. So times 2, we will choose 1 over 120. Kasi 60 times 2 is 120. However, wala naman tayong ND filter sa setup natin. We will just choose auto. As for the exposure compensation, we can leave it at zero lang. Now for white balance naman, since most of the time we will be filming at daytime, I am leaving it at 5,000 or 5,500. Either lang sa dalawang yan, but uh, personally speaking, I am using 5,000. Now, for the ISO minimum, pipiliin natin na minimum is 100. Yun yung pinaka-less yung noise ng footage. So, now, ISO maximum, I set it at 400. So, the higher the ISO, mas marami ding noise yung footage mo. So, minimum of 100, maximum of 400. So sharpness naman natin, uh, so cameras like this, usually meron siyang artificial sharpening na ginagamit. For me, too sharp siya. So we will choose medium para we can just adjust the sharpness later on sa editing. So sa color profile naman, I want it flat. So the flatter the image, mas maganda siya i-color grade. At the same time, since less contrasty yung image mo, medyo mataas yung dynamic range. So yung dynamic range lang, yung ibig sabihin lang is yung ng whites mo sa kayong blacks. So yun nga, flat yung pipiliin natin as for the color. Now as for the audio naman, most of the vloggers or model vloggers use external mics. Turn off lang natin yung raw audio sa kayong mic natin na stereo lang. So I guess that would be all for this video. I hope meron kayong napulot sa panunood ng video na to kasi alam ko marami sa inyo gustong mag-vlog or mag vlog At least meron kayong idea Kung ano yung settings na magandang gamitin para sa ganung content creation. So again, this is your boy Jerry of Jcap Vlogs. Seeing you. Bye-bye.